Hi guys! In today's video, I'll be reviewing the game Detective Grimoire by SFB Games. In this game, you get to play the dashing Detective Grimoire, whose task it is to solve a murder. Most of the game involves talking to suspects and finding clues to solve the crime. For me, the best thing about this game was the story, which was mysterious and intriguing enough to keep me playing all the way through, to find out who done it. A light sense of humour helps keep things interesting along the way. The artwork of the backgrounds and the cartoony characters are really beautifully done, making the game even more satisfying and fun to play. All the characters are fun and interesting to get to know. I really like some of their names too, like that of Buggy the Bug Monster. The character you get to play, Detective Grimoire, is particularly charming and full of some fun banter that reminded me a bit of Guybrush Threepwood from the Monkey Island games. All the voice acting is really top-notch. I don't get it. Why would anyone come here by choice? Adding to the feeling that this is a really high-quality production. The music for this game was made by Raphael Benjamin Mayer. I'm using the soundtrack from the game as background music to this review. You can hear its really high-quality, magical-sounding, atmospheric music, reminiscent a bit of Danny Elfman. For me, this music really raised the quality of the gameplay. For gamers seeking a challenging murder mystery, this probably isn't the game for you. My feeling is that most of the puzzles here are easy enough for a six-year-old to solve. But it's still fun. I'd say the game is great for children, for beginner gamers, and for casual gamers who appreciate a fun, easily unfolding story with endearing characters. Most of the time spent playing this game is spent talking to all the different characters. I'm aware that not everyone has patience for games that require you to listen to lengthy discussions, though personally I enjoy chatty games like these. There were one or two parts of the game where I felt the gameplay could have been improved. There was one puzzle where you had to fill in the blanks of a sentence to arrive at a correct conclusion, and at times, this puzzle felt a bit buggy, where you arrived at sentences that felt right, but weren't accepted as right by the game because the programming wanted you to say it in a certain order. For example, it wanted you to say, the cat and dog did it, and didn't work if you said, the dog and cat did it. Also, towards the end of the game, I felt like I'd collected enough clues and information to solve the murder, but the game doesn't allow you to report your conclusions until you've collected all the clues. Again, this requires a little bit of patience. I found that the total gameplay for me was about two hours, which makes this game relatively short, and I guess this is something to bear in mind before buying. Overall, I'd give this game a score of 8 out of 10. I found Detective Grimoire fun, engaging, and it left me with a smile on my face. I, for one, am definitely going to be looking out to see what future games the Super Flash Brothers are going to release. I hope you found this review useful. Thanks for watching!